Hey YouTube friends, are you suffering from back pain and you're looking for some quick relief? What are some fast exercises that you can do right now and get some instant relief for your back problem? Well, I'm gonna cover with you today three quick back relief exercises that you can do at home right now. If you're looking to get relief right now, pause the video, find some space on the floor, or lie down on the bed. I'm gonna have my partner here demonstrate for you so that you can see exactly what to do to get some quick back pain relief right now. So the first exercise we're gonna cover is an abdominal crunch. I love this exercise just to get stability because most of the time people that are suffering from back pain have a stability problem. The muscles that comprise the core, the core muscles of the back, uh, they, they provide stability to the spine. If you, if you ever look at the skeleton, the low back, you know, between where the rib cage ends and the pelvis, the hips start, there's just five bones there, those lumbar vertebrae, those five bones need a lot of stability from the core muscles. So I'm going to show you an exercise to get some instant stability in your core. So let's have you flatten out your back here. In fact, slide your hand under your low back real quick. Do this at home. Slide your hand under your low back right near the bottom, not on the tailbone exactly, but before your tailbone starts. Usually where the back pain is, is where you want to be. And it should be in the middle of your back, not, not on the left, not on the right, right on the center. With your back, you're going to push down into your hand pretty hard. And what that should do is, is make your abs work. And you can see his shoulders and head are coming up off the table. You need that to happen so that you can get the best ab contraction. And you're just going to hold there for 10 seconds. After about 10 seconds, go ahead and relax. And you're going to repeat this. So do it one more time here. Back flat. Abs should be working. You should be pushing your back down as hard as you can. Shoulders and head might come up and then relax. And now, if you're having neck trouble with this, a lot of people do, just tuck a pillow under your head and do the same exercise and it's just fine. Now, let me just show you how to make this a bit harder in case you feel like this is too easy for you and it's not really getting you the relief that you're looking for. So you're gonna have to slide your hand out. Everything's gonna be the same. Go ahead and push that back flat, but this time stretch out those hands towards your knees and come up just a bit higher here so that you get a more intense ab contraction. These ab muscles give a lot of stability to the lower back, so you need them to turn on and work really hard. Go ahead and relax there. So a good starting point is I would do this exercise for a few minutes, holding for 10 seconds at a time. So hold for 10 seconds and then rest for a few seconds, whatever you need really, and then just keep going for three, four, even up to five minutes just to get those muscles working really hard. It might be the case that you feel a pop or a click happen in your lower back, we're not looking to make that happen, but if it does and you feel some relief afterwards, cool. That means you're doing the right thing and you're gonna start getting some relief for your back problem. Exercise number two is a controlled twist. So you may have seen this exercise online or if you've been to physical therapy or talked to a friend that had a back problem, that this is a very commonly done exercise, but I'm adding a control aspect to it that isn't typically done. So just like we did on that ab exercise a second ago, I'm going to have you go ahead and flatten out your back again and decently hard. While you're keeping your back flat, you're going to slowly let your knees fall over one way, but you got to keep the, the back flat and your abs turned on. And you can, you can stretch there if you want. If you want to just hang out in that direction, that's cool. Don't force it, though. More than your abs will allow you while, while they're working. And then come back and go the other side, still keeping the abs sucked in and the back down as much as you can. It's okay if your hips and back kind of want to roll off the table a bit, that's fine. Then come back to the center. Now the, the main differentiating point that I want to make here, the, the difference between this exercise and an uncontrolled version of it, is if you don't engage your abs and, and pull your back flat, then those five lumbar vertebrae, those lower back bones, begin to twist way too much. And typically that's what is causing the back problem is that there's been excessive twisting in the spine. So this prevents that from happening and it forces the other joints nearby to begin to move better so that you can get some quick back pain relief. So you don't have to stretch at the end. You could just teeter totter back and forth. I would do this one for a minute or two, just going back and forth. If you feel like it just feels good to go further in one direction, that's fine, and, or hang out in, in one direction, you know, where you stay there for a good 10, 15 seconds or more. That's cool too, but never, ever, ever give up your abs. You need to pull the back flat and suck in those abs 
it is critical for your back problem. Exercise number three, we're gonna do an angry cat exercise. So let's have you get on your hands and knees here. So at home, you wanna get on your hands and knees either on the floor or on the bed, wherever you're doing this. And what you're gonna do here is focus on the lower back because your upper back's gonna be moving quite a bit too, but you wanna think about what your lower back's doing. I would just not think too much about the upper back at this point. What you're gonna do is allow your back to sink down right here, kind of arc down as long as it's not hurting you to do that. Because in some cases it might, only go what you can without any more pain than, than you're already in. Then just come down for a moment, then you're gonna come up, push this part, your lower back, as high up as you can. And as you can see, this rounds out quite a bit, that's fine. Just focus on getting this part to go up and back as far as you can. Hold it there for a good five to 10 seconds. You should feel your abs working right here. After about five to 10 seconds, slowly come back down and you can come down to, to neutral, kind of just like a halfway point. Or if you want to come down further, like where we went for a second, that, that's cool too. And then you're going to repeat. Come back up. Suck in those abs. Push this up as high as you can. And I would do 10 second holds, repeating here for a few minutes. So like three to five minutes is, is what I mean by a few minutes. And if, you, if it's difficult to hold yourself up on your arms, just take breaks where you can get off your back, get off your hands or your knees, lie on your back, or you can even sit on your haunches, show them what that looks like, just kind of come back and get off your hands for a minute, um, and then repeat whenever you're ready. But let's show them one more time this angry cat exercise. And we call it angry cat because that's what an angry cat does, they, they arc their back. So you come down for a moment, then come up, suck in the abs, you might feel the butt muscles tighten up when you come up, that's good, we like that, it helps your back. Hold it for about 10 seconds and then come down and relax. Thanks for watching YouTube friends. I hope that this video was helpful for you. If you thought it was helpful, do me a quick favor. Hit the like button below and then move your cursor over this way and hit the subscribe button over here. That way you can get notified anytime we release some helpful information about back problems and other health tips. If you are looking for more specific back exercises and back tips and back information, we've got tons of them. If you go over to our channel page and find our playlists, find the one that's all about back problems and you'll find exactly what you need. I'm sure that you'll find something that's more specific than what we covered here in this video today. Thanks so much and we'll talk soon. Bye-bye.